In our last video, we saw how to schedule CCP exam. In this video, we will go through the examination structure itself. Uh, to know more about this uh, CCP exam, so go to AACA website and go to certifications and examination details. Okay, so here you can see uh, the list of uh, you no know, uh, menu where you can you can click what to expect on the exam day. It will give you a detail of uh, what are all the ID cards you need to take it and uh, what are all the um, uh, acceptable uh, you know, clothing on that day. So just go through this just to make sure that you're not in for any surprise. Uh, mainly we will be looking at the examination structure itself. Uh, if you are going for the CCP exam, that's how the structure will be. The exam will be for 5 hours continuous. There will not be any break. For some reason, if you like to take a break, you can go out of the classroom, uh, the exam room, but you cannot um, stop the time. The time will continue to run. Okay. The exam will have 120 multiple choice questions. Um, so it's basically A, B, C, D, uh, any one will be the right answer and um, you will have 5 hours to answer this 120 multiple choice questions and this multiple choice question will have two types. One is the what we call as the uh, simple multiple choice. The other one is compound and scenario question. All right. So let me explain what this mean. Now a compound scenario question means they will give a scenario or they will give you some data. From that scenario, from that data, they will continuously ask you seven question. Okay. So what that mean is if you get one scenario question, you will have seven multiple choice from that scenario okay so typically one scenario question equals to seven multiple choice equals to seven uh, marks okay so uh, roughly you can expect about uh, seven to ten scenario question in the exam uh, which gives you about 70 to 100 marks so you, as you can imagine it's very very important Okay, so in addition to the uh, scenario question, you will also have uh, individual multiple choice questions such as this, which will not have any scenario. You can go ahead and straight away answer this question. Okay, the other thing you need to know about the scenario question is, and some of the individual MCQs is, is um, some of the question require some complex formula to answer. For example, in this specific question, we need to calculate the uh, present value and future value for which we need to use an apply formula. You cannot take the formula sheet with you, but what AAC have done is they will provide the formula on screen. So basically your exam will have a split screen. On the left side of your screen, you will have the exam questions. On the right side of your screen, you will have the option of a drop down menu. From the drop down menu, you can choose the scenario as well as you can choose the formula sheet. For example, if there isn't any uh, scenario question on the exam, they don't directly give the scenario in a single in, in the left hand side because on your left hand side of the screen, you can have only one question. You cannot have seven questions. So what they do is they will say, for example, uh, for this particular question, they will say refer to scenario number 2.3. So what that means is on the right side of your screen, you will have a drop down menu. You have to choose the scenario 2.3. Then this particular data will be populated over there. Okay, so basically question number one to question number seven on your left hand side, you will be answering from the scenario given on the, your right side of the screen. Okay, so that's how you will have the split screen. If you have to use any formula, you have to just click the drop down menu and choose the formula sheet and use the formula to answer the question. Okay, so for each scenario question, there will be a scenario number you have to choose a drop down menu and choose a scenario and then start answering the uh, next seven question using that scenario. All right. So that's what we mean by compound and scenario question. All right. The next thing you need to know is the exam is a continuous 120 multiple choice question. Uh, these 125 questions will be testing your knowledge in these four domains. Okay. One is the basic cost engineering skills and knowledge. Then we have economic analysis 
project management and cost estimation and control. Now the question will not be in any particular order. What I mean by that is your first question will be on economic analysis, the second question will be on cost estimating and control and so on. It's, so it's a random selection of question across these four uh, uh, modules or domains the way you would like to call it. Okay. Now once you finish the exam, once you finish the exam, the exam result will not be instant. Even though it is a multiple choice exam, the exam result will not be instant. We will talk about the exam result in the next video. All right. So uh, once again, the exam is closed book. You will be carrying a calculator with you. It will not be provided by the testing center. In fact, you can take any type of battery operated calculator. You can take those complex financial calculators also with you. Okay, there won't be any restriction on calculator. Okay, so that's all you need to know about the structure of the exam. In the next video, we'll discuss about the exam results.